Gus has a lot of adventures in this book. Falling off a ferry, caught in a flood of bird poop, <laughs> strapped to a runaway hospital gurney, among other things. But the reason you keep reading is not what's happening to Gus, but Gus himself. Gus thinks fast and scattered, and he talks just like he thinks. For Gus, a statement can be true and false, scary and funny, a day at the beach and an African safari, or all of them. Random connections abound. Spare ribs to spare rooms to room buzz to rum buzz to roomy <laughs> with detours along the way for barbecue or ballroom dancing or Sufi mystics. He turns his head to talk off camera as though he was his own audience. Like this? Just like that. Not everyone gets Gus, notably his mom, who has him on medication to calm him down. One day he gets expelled from school. His principal doesn't get him either and goes to visit his sister Ruby, who does. One of the side effects of Gus's medication involves hallucinations. Or does it? His trip to Vancouver Island becomes an odyssey. Some people have food or housing insecurities. Gus has reality insecurity. I wrote this book for me and for people like me, people who don't fit in, who worry about their unhappiness and racing thoughts and wonder if anyone is ever going to get them. If this is you, I want you to know you are not alone. Enjoy at the speed of Gus. Take care.